and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we got the Team of the Week 16 and 17 cards, and they've been revealed. Yesterday, they announced the names. Today, they have announced the actual cards. So, as you guys know, if you guys are confused why we're getting two Team of the Week drops at the same time and why are they Week 16 and 17, what pretty much happened in the month of December was they stalled out on content like no heavyweights, no flashbacks, no Team of the Week, and we focused on zero chill stuff. Combine that with a lot of uh, people taking vacations on the holidays and stuff. So, Pretty much the players who played amazing in week 16 of the NFL and week 17, <coughs> excuse me, those players have been pushed to January for this first week of January as a combined drop to cover the whole team of the week program. Now remember, quick little tip before we head into the whole thing, make sure you go ahead and play your new team of the week solos because these are the final two tokens you guys are going to need to complete your team of the weeks week one through 17 uh, token collection to get your free team of the year player, which you will be seeing that set probably in the next week or so when team of the year drops. So make sure you get that done while you still can, because there's two to play, so don't forget that you need to play both, you can't just play one. Sometimes there's leeway, sometimes there isn't, but I wouldn't take that chance. Now guys, before we get into the video, remember if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell boys, come join the family. We're 100 subs away from 17,000. Hopefully we can hit it today. It's a big milestone, let's keep on going. Pushing towards 20k. Also, as a 10:30 video, guys, can we get 350 likes in this video? If Noti Gang, if you're here, comment down below, Noti Gang, and spam the like button. Can we get to 350 likes? You guys have been making this channel grow like crazy. I've had my best viewed month, week ever in my history on YouTube. So, keep liking the video. If we get 350 likes, that'd be awesome. Now, guys, let's head into uh, the screenshots and let's go check out all the new cards. Alright, guys. So here are the set pieces for Week 16. So I'm gonna show you guys the set pieces and everything for Week 16, and then the heroes. And then again, you set piece of week 17, the heroes, and I'll put the LTDs together all at the end. So I'm not going to go over them individually because they'll take way too long. We got Neville Hewitt, Tajay Sharp, AJ Klein, Dallas Goddard, Anthony Walker Jr., Sean Williams, Hunter Renfro, and Naeem Himes. Notables here, Naeem Himes has a 90 speed, solid budget back, 83 speed on Tajay Sharp, not too slow, AJ Klein, 80 speed, I guess it's decent for an outside linebacker of that overall. Nothing else here really stands out beyond that. The only decent cards here, like I said, is going to be the Naheem Himes for the most part. Next on the list, Dante Fowler Jr., one of these set pieces. Not too great again. Can't pass rush too well. He can have, he's an 87 finesse move, which I guess is decent with 84 speed. Decent athleticism, decent pass rushing. Rams team, team great. Overall by itself, not too great. Next, we got Mike Jasicki, tight end for the uh, Miami Dolphins. I was playing some face of the franchise the other day, and I was the quarterback for the Miami Dolphins. And personally, guys, me and Mike Jasicki went ham. He had 3,000 yards, broke the receiving record. Kind of my boy now. But for the most part, not a great card in Madden. Can decently catch, can decently run, can't route run too well. Not too great. Much rather have a lot of other cards. Next, we have Pierre Desir, 89 cornerback for the Indianapolis Colts. Great speed, great athleticism overall, decent press, decent coverage. On a Colts team, team will be pretty solid. As a budget cornerback, pretty solid. But I can't see him as a regularly used card for the most part. Then we got Philip Lindsay, which is actually one of the better cards. 90 speed, 87 Excel, 87 agility, 89 carrying. If you guys remember, uh, Philip Lindsay was my budget beast for the first two months of Madden. He was my backup back. Really great running back. As a whole, though, you can power up and chem him up. So he will be a decent backup back at best. I can't see him being much else than that. Maybe on a Broncos team team, he'd probably be pretty crazy, but probably about it. Next, we got the first defensive hero, Fred Warner. Right off the linebacker, 93 overall for the San Francisco 49ers. 6 foot 3, great height, 87 speed, 92 excel, great athleticism. 77 strength, a little bit low, 90 tackle, 87 play rec, 84 block shed, 57 power move, and 65 finesse move. He is not a pass rusher. This is like the case of where I say Lawrence Taylor pass rushes the, the one side, and then Fred Warner can play zone on the other. Only issue is Fred Warner is a Renaissance linebacker. So he happens to play at the position where we're going to probably have Lawrence Taylor out, which kind of sucks. But he does feel the need of more of a zone type linebacker. Depending on what his final zone coverage is, really going to decide what we do with him. But not going to be horrible. Going to be decent with athletic. Next, we got the offensive hero. Probably the most exciting card of this whole drop. Saquon Barkley. 93 overall halfback. 5'11". He's 92 speed, 93 excel, 96 agility, 94 carrying. It's crazy high. 77 catching is great. 88 elusiveness, 83 trucking, and 95 break tackle. Powered up and chemmed up and everything. He could probably get himself like a 94, 95 speed. 94 95 excel probably close to 99 agility 97 98 carrying so pretty much 99 agility 99 carrying for the most part a looseness above 90 truck is gonna be like an 85 and break tackle is probably gonna be about a 99 also because i have john madden rushing as well as zone run maxed out and his catching with john madden passing will probably get him to like 78 getting powered up probably get like 79 
80, which honestly a very well-rounded card, probably one of the best backup cards you could probably have in the game. Although that's not saying much about a backup, you know, but still. Starting in week 17 now, these are the pieces. We got Trey Marshall. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys so you guys can have a better idea and see these. We got Trey Marshall, Trey Quan Smith, Kevin Pierre Lewis, Boston Scott, Mike Boone, Carl Lawson, Jameson Crowder, and Tyler Rapp. Jameson Crowder is a decent speed receiver for the most part on a Jets team. Team going to be pretty solid. Carl Lawson, not too great. Mike Boone, another pretty great, decent speed running back. Vikings team team is maybe a good backup. Him and Madison. Trey Marshall, really good, decent speed, hit power combo for a 79 overall. Like real budgety, not bad. Traquan Smith, nothing too special. And then Boston Scott, great speed and excel for a budget back. On Eagles team team, probably hope there's one of the better Eagles backs at this point. Now, coming in for the first set piece, Max Crosby, 87 overall right end for the Oakland Raiders. Pretty solid, not bad. I mean, for a Raiders team team, he's going to be okay. Now, I have to imagine some other stats somewhere else. Because for an 87 overall, he has some, some stats aren't too great. But I think on a Raiders team team, would be pretty great, which is one of the better Raider, uh, team teams right now. Next, we got Tyler Higby. Not too excited about this card. It's uber slow. No, not a great catcher. Can't really route run. He's a, he's a run blocker. Essentially, he'd be like a good third string or uh, second string tight end that you put in just for run blocking schemes. Or tight end you put out wide receiver for run blocking, which isn't a bad idea either. Next, we got Eric Rowe, 89 overall, cornerback for the Miami Dolphins. He has 90 speed, 90 excel, 90 agility, 91 jumping, 83 play rec, 83 is man, 80 zone, 90 press. Honestly, super athletic, great physicality. Zone and man are a little bit low, but going to be a great budget type cornerback. And on a Miami Dolphins team team, he's probably going to be feasting, although who has one of those? Gardner Minshew, not too great. Well, he's well rounded around 85, 86 overalls, 87 overall. Not a great quarterback, decent speed, kind of like a well rounded, can't do much of anything kind of quarterback. Not too excited about that. Then we got Deion Jones as one of the all of the defensive hero. 89 speed, 90 excel, solid. 87 zone, solid. 90 tackle, 84 power style. Going to be a great user linebacker, even a great in space linebacker. Powered up and chemmed up. Going to have above 90 speed, above 90 excel, above 90 zone, above 90 tackle, above 90 play rec, and like an 85, 86 hit power. Great linebacker overall. I personally probably wouldn't get him because of what I have already, but for that zone coverage, that's kind of big. You have him and Shazier. You're going to have cornerbacks in the middle of the field. And then for the final offense, we've got Joe Mixon. Really good looking right here. If you power from Kemba up, you could probably get a speed and excel. It's like a 92, 93, and then 95. He has agility carrying. He's very well-rounded, decent catching. What, what bothered me here is his elusiveness, his trucking, and his break tackle. I think that's not good enough to compete. Bengals seed teams, maybe you guys got something going there. But as a whole, do not recommend this mixin. If he had better trucking and break, if his break tackle was above, well above 90, that'd be great. I'd much rather have Saquon out of the bunch that was just dropped. But that's just my opinion. Right, guys, so the first LTD for week 16 is Mark Andrews. Now, as you guys know, there will be two LTDs. As you'll see, as you've seen throughout the video, there's been two of each because they did drop two releases at once. So the first one is 94 overall tight end, Mark Andrews. Solid tight end. LTD cannot be powered up, which does kind of suck. He has no power up chain. But as per usual with LTDs, typically, those aren't always the best things to power up anyways. Six foot five. He had 93 yards and two touchdowns in that week. Let's see, he has 88 speed. 82 strength. So first off, amazing speed for a tight end. Right there with Tony G. 82 strength is great. 92 catching is amazing. 89 catching traffic is great. 88 spec catcher. So far, chemed up and power. Well, he can't be powered up, but chemed up. He will get probably all 90 catching as well as high end speed. Now, the route running is what sets him apart from a lot of other tight ends. Although Tony G is still going to be the better option. He's always going to be the better option for now. 87 route running and 87 medium route running total with 77 run blocking. If you put zone run on him and you chem him up properly, he could get like an 80 run blocking with. John Madden passing, he could be a pretty great tight end. And on a Ravens team team, guys, he's going to be pretty unstoppable for the time being. Ravens team team is going to have a really high speed. He's going to be pretty crazy good. Uh, this Mark Andrews as a whole, would I personally get him? Probably not because I don't have a Ravens team team. And I'd much rather have Tony G for probably a similar price. But as a whole, this is still a great, great card. Highly recommend for all you Ravens team team guys. And so far, this is a pretty great job. This was week 16, though, so we still have week 17 to go over. Next, we have Michael Gallup. 94 overall wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys. Michael Gallup has been a solid number two receiver all year to Amari Cooper. And even at times, it's looked like a number one when he's had to fill in for Cooper. Not that when Cooper doesn't play, he hasn't really, he's not like he's going to do better. But what I'm saying is when Cooper's been a little more banged up, they've really focused on Gallup. And he's had some big blow up weeks like this week. 98 yards, three touchdowns in week 17. Probably the top receiver performance of that week more than likely considering he had an LTD and those stats are pretty insane. He does have that go deep type archetype. He cannot be powered up, remember that. So both LTDs this week cannot be powered up, which has been a common uh, trend for a lot of LTDs as of late. He's six foot one, so good height. 92 speed. So if you guys were listening to my predictions yesterday, I'm pretty spot on when I said he'd have a 92 speed, I'm pretty sure. 
89 jumping, 91 catching, 89 catching traffic, 92 spec catch, 91 short route running, 88 medium route running, and 94 deep route running. As a whole, guys, an awesome looking card. Not that I'd pick it up. And remember, this is going to be behind because these cards were supposed to come out in December. So in December, they would have looked a lot better. Now that we are in January, they're not going to look as great. But for the time being, this would have been a pretty awesome card. Kem to both the ways and have all 90 route running, all 90 catching, 92 speed. If he could be powered up, guys, this card would be really, really great. Definitely great on the Cowboys theme team. Him, T.O., Cooper, going to have a pretty solid receiving core. And probably more than I'm missing right there. But Gallup's really cool. I'd imagine he probably has some good... Um, like running stats as far as juking and spin probably some decent he's a pretty athletic receiver probably could excel again both ltd is not something i'd pick up but i i did really like the heroes though so those definitely make up for it the ltds are cool but they're not great i mean it's better than getting guys like brandon scarlet but guys that is about it for the video hope you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that notify bell boys come join the family can we get to 17k by tonight hopefully we can we're 100 subs away so let's make it happen and if you're new to the channel or your snowy gang doesn't matter spam the like button can we get 350 likes on a 10 30 video that'd be greatly appreciated boys let's make it happen start running up the like button now and comment down below what you thought of these team of the week drops did you like them segmented or did you like them together how do you prefer them but that's it guys thank you so much for watching i'm out see you guys next video peace